write me a script for a video about Microsoft's new AI powered Bing interface. Welcome to this video where we, we will show you how, how Microsoft's new AI powered Bing interface can make your online search experience faster, smarter and more personalized. Okay, well, I guess my work here is done. I'll, uh, I'll let Bing take over from now. I'll save you the time. What you've just seen is Microsoft's new AI-powered version of Bing that's here to take on Google's search dominance. Microsoft is now bringing a next-generation GPT model to its Bing search engine that it's confident will transform search as we know it today. So why is this different to ChatGPT and what's new? First up, Microsoft is putting answers to queries side by side with the search results you're used to seeing today. They're called chat answers, and it's the type of response you'd find in ChatGPT. You'll get the usual links followed by a more conversational response at the side. That's neat and it will ease people gently into this new AI powered search, but it's the chat interface that's really interesting. ChatGPT has wowed the web with its impressive ability to naturally respond to queries, write poems, organize people's lives, and much more. Bing's AI features are based on a more advanced version of what powers ChatGPT. That means it can do things like surface breaking news and relevant information as it's happening, and it can also do stuff like organize a free day vacation to New York City for you and your family when it's warm. The main chat interface is very similar to ChatGPT, but it searches news sources with surprising speed for events that are unfolding or that have just happened. This is all super speedy, but much like ChatGPT, it's not always accurate. Earlier today, I asked it about a bunch of queries, and one of them was related to a breaking news incident, and it gave me the date for tomorrow instead of today. But it's not just news it can cover and search queries. Microsoft says its AI-powered Bing should be better at writing code than ChatGPT. I'm not a coder, so I'll leave that up to the prompt engineering experts to really test Microsoft's promises there. The big differences can be found in how Microsoft has integrated these chatbot powers into its Edge browser. And I think this is where the future of Microsoft's open AI partnership gets really interesting. Edge now has a sidebar which can scan entire web pages and allow you to pick out information or run chat queries against websites. Now imagine you're on Amazon and searching for a TV. You could ask Bing to compare the best 4K TVs, find the best price, and then formulate this all into a neat table that you can email to your partner. There's even a Compose tab that makes all of the work of typing in parameters a little bit easier, offering a GUI for tone, format, and length. You can ask Bing's AI model to write about anything here, and it will neatly format it and get it ready for a blog post, an email, or just a simple list. Microsoft didn't talk about this on stage today, but you can imagine a future where Word or Outlook are just generating documents or emails for you automatically. You could technically do this right now, just open up a web-based version of Word, put it alongside this little sidebar in Edge, and then it's generating content for you on the fly. Here's the resignation letter I just created for my boss to say I'm resigning because AI is replacing my job. All of these new features look great and the possibilities are almost endless, but there'll be thousands of people out there looking to break this new Bing AI much in the same way as people jailbreak ChatGPT and make it say bad things. Microsoft says it has some additional safeguards in place to protect against this, but we'll see how long it takes for the prompt engineers to break past. It will also be interesting to see how publishers and content owners react to this. The chat answers are more advanced than the simple query answers that we see in search engines today, and it's clear that people will click on links less, even if Bing is clearly sourcing information here. Microsoft is going to open up a whole bunch of conversations around content, regulatory risks, legal issues, and much more. We've already seen Getty suing some image generation companies, and we're just at the beginning of how this type of AI will reshape online content. Overshadowing all of this is Google and exactly how the search giant will respond. Microsoft is clearly trying to take away search engine market share from Google and make Bing more relevant. Neil, I sat down with Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella for the Decoder podcast. We have the full interview up on the channel, but here's what he had to say. First of all, I mean, look, I have the greatest of admirations uh, for Google and what they've done. And, you know, they're, they're, they're an unbelievable company with great talent. And, you know, and I have a lot of respect for Sundar and his team. They are the 800 pound gorilla on this, which is uh, what they are. And I hope that with our innovation, um, they will definitely want to come out and show that they can dance. And I want people to know that we made them dance. And I think that'll be a great day. 
And Google is gonna be dancing real soon. Just a day before Microsoft's event, Google announced its ChatGPT competitor, Bard. It's in limited testing right now, and we haven't seen exactly how it handles queries or how Google will attempt to integrate it into search. But it's clear the AI search battle is on. If you thought ChatGPT was interesting, things are about to shift up a gear. Like I said earlier, the full Satya Nadella interview is up on the channel, so go check that out. But if we're going to end this the way that Bing wanted us to, thanks for watching and happy searching.